All right, I think we're live. Uh, welcome back to Pokey Rogue, everybody. Uh, this is our first Pokey Rogue live stream. This game has blown up noticeably since uh since I first played it, which is pretty great, honestly. Uh, I'm glad to see that this game is getting some recognition outside of just small creators. Uh, but, uh, this is a special shiny rate boosted weekend, uh, as advertised to celebrate there being new types of shiny Pokemon in the game. We'll talk about that more during the episode, and I'll pretty much recap everything that happens during this live stream if you're only interested in the episodes. So go ahead and skip on down to episode 4 whenever that comes out. But, uh, we do have the old daily run still available, and I haven't tried it yet today. So, that might be a little loud. Actually, no, for you it's not a little loud, but for me it's noticeably loud. Hi, GG Plays, how you doing? Alright, so let's look at the Pokemon that they've given us for the daily run today. We have... Okay, um, Tink and Tink is pretty good, and Monior can get some small Shell Smash stuff going. Spinops is also here, um... Is that a fairy feather? Fairy feather. That might be a new item that's not necessarily a fa fairy feather, but... I'm rather curious. We have Block, Struggle, Faint. Check out Minior. Minior has Tackle, Defense Curl, and Confuse Ray. And... Tinkatink doesn't have great stuff right now. At least we're a steel type, so the Zubat can't really hurt us. As a matter of fact, I might as well try and catch a Zubat. Do you have a shiny? I do have a shiny. In episode 3, we caught a shiny. Um, yeah, a shiny... What was it? It was a... It was a Cherubi. But during this weekend, there's apparently three times the odds for shinies. I don't know if that counts for uh, the daily run. I guess we'll see. Ooh, Shell Bell right off the bat is such a good item. Uh, I think I'll put that on Tinkatink, because I think Tinkatink is going to go all the way. In box or team. Well, the way that shinies in this game works is that once you unlock a shiny for a Pokemon, uh, you could just unlock it for the rest of the runs. And right now, through eggs, we've only gotten Cherubi, but we do have the eggs from the Kyogres. Well, that might be a boosted chance here. Um, I see no purpose in switching Tink a Tink. However, I do want to get Spide Ops out of having to fight these two flying types. So, let's see about... What's our most efficient use here? Uh, Refletioner might be Flame Body, and I don't want to get burned. So, I'm going to risk Mining or getting burned, and we're going to roll out that slot. Oh, right, Fire Type. That hurts a lot. Okay, well, the air citrus berry, uh, a fire type move going into that slot would be a really big pain. Yeah, we still can't pick which Pokemon we want to catch. Um, I'm gonna let Spide Ops maybe die here, and then we're gonna roll out with, uh, our little guy here, Minior, and we're gonna get rid of Fletchender. Talonflame would have been really good. However, it's kind of a threat right now, and us catching things, so we're not going to have Minior on the field, and Sweet Kiss is better than Baby Doll Eyes, at least in my opinion. Do I, wanna, do I wanna catch a Pidgeotto? It's better to have Mons. Let's faint with Spide Ops just so we can get off a little bit of damage and tackle. Was about the right amount of health. Uh, let's send in Tinka Tink now that we're in a pretty safe spot. And let's see about throwing some balls. Hey, there we go. On Pokemon Go, I got a shiny Bell Sprout in Community Day yesterday. Aw, oh, nice. I also was hunting during Community Day. Uh, I got two Hundo Bell Sprouts that I'm pretty happy about. 
Ah, uh, you see, I could max revive Spide Ops, but like, who cares? <laughs> Not to be mean to Spide Ops, but like, come on, man. You know, you know how it is. Uh, the Pikachu is an electric type. We have three flying types. Maybe I should have max revived Spide Ops. Um, I'm gonna drain kiss the Blank Yenna and then confuse Ray Pikachu. That hurt. Okay, the bite does hurt a little bit. Ah, shields down activates. Now we're a little bit faster. I mistyped the and and I did not mean to type that. Fair enough. I mean I just might just ignore it in my brain. Um I don't want Mimeor to die here. But I don't really have very great options to preventing that from happening. Like we do kind of get one move here. I'm just gonna tackle Pikachu. Oh Pikachu did took a lot of damage from tackle. Get some health back, HP is full. And I think we're going to have to really hit this Pikachu. Uh, it didn't die. Oh, but it hurt itself in confusion, so we're good. And now Zubat wants to learn Quick Guard, which is not implemented, so we will not be learning that. I was left with two Pokeballs and two Great Balls after the community day. Oh, that's how you know it was a good community day. If you're completely out of balls. Oh, my friend! About Twister. Twitch Twister's such a niche move, it feels like. Oh, we can use Whirlwind to instantly end battles. I guess it's not really advantageous, though, because we'll lose experience, so I'm gonna forget Whirlwind. A Pidgeotto, then Twister. Uh, let's go for the quick reroll, just in case we get something better. We really did not. I like the X defense, though. Let's just try and get some health back. I don't think this Linoon can really hurt us. The Linoon might be useful though, actually. If we can get- <gasps> It stole my shell- Okay, well now we have to catch the Linoon because the Linoon took our shell bell. Alright, so that's an effect that's plop properly implemented now. Oh, I only have one ball. And it has rest! Okay, at least it's asleep now. I'm gonna try and Rock Smash to see how much that does. I didn't do more. I think this is our best chance to catch it. Alright, well, the Linoon has our Shell Bell now. Actually, we can change items around on Pokemon, I think. Um, let's forget... Sweet Kiss, I guess. Oh, but now we can use our own Covet to steal items if we see our opponent has an item. And Tinkatink is evolving! One Pokemon on Never Shiny Hunting is Cutie Fly. It's not a terrible one, at least the pink is pretty noticeable. And what game is that on? This is a web game called Pokey Rogue. Uh, we had a few videos about it go up on the channel, but basically it is a browser game that anybody can play that is a rogue-like experience. So it uh, you can upgrade your Pokemon as you go, and if you lose, then you lose the entire game, pretty much, is the gist of it. Uh, you go through a bunch of random battles, and what we want to do is we want to hit level 50. Right now we're on level 4, if you can see in the top right corner. Yeah, you can see in the top right corner. I might need to crop this a little bit differently. No, actually, it's probably pretty good cropped. Um, yeah, transfer. I've never used transfer before. Let's take the shell bell and put it back on Tinka Tough. And then, oh, we can take items off of any Pokemon we want. I thought that was only a one-time thing. Uh, let's put the Fairy Feather on Tinkatel, because that is actual Fairy-type moves. And who is our other starter? Minior? Minior has two Silk Scarves, which might come in handy. I mean, it's so tiny. Yeah, it is a very tiny one, but if you got good eyes, you can get it. I think... Probably Joltik is the hardest one to get, in my opinion, which stinks because Joltik is my favorite non-starter Pokemon. And I tried Shiny Hunting and Joltik Outbreak not too long ago, but I had to give up. <laughs> it's just so hard to look at all the different Joltiks. 
Um, do these Pokemon have any other items? Oh, Starfairy? I guess I'll give this to Tink itself. And Pajoto, do you have anything? No. Okay, I think we'll go with that for now. Let's get the five Pokeballs, just so we have Pokeballs to catch more things in the future. Now we have a double battle against a Jigglypuff and a Clefairy. Um, so I think Draining Kiss is our best option. We can't Twister, but we can Gus. Quick Attack might do more damage, honestly. Let's go for Quick Attack. Okay, Sword Power doesn't do much, but Body Slam could be really annoying. Uh, let's just do the double up again. Because I, I didn't think that was going to pick up KO. And now Zubat is evolving. Absolutely swell. Sword Power is still not going to do anything. Let's get the, Let's just hit him with the combo again. It's just over half, and I'd say we took relatively little damage there in that double battle. Completes round five. Uh, I'm gonna reroll because there's nothing here that I really want. Yeah, I'll take the super potion. And we can get Golbat in the game with this super potion. Uh, Kadabra has appeared. Kadabra might actually not be bad uh, to replace our other things we have in the team. Let's see how well it takes Brutal Swing. Oh, perfect right there. Yeah, let's get this Kadabra. Okay, I feel like every turn that we throw a ball and it breaks out, there's a chance that it could go for teleport. It did not go for teleport, though. And with that, Abra has been added as a starter. I'm also noticing that there's a little bit of candy on the right side. I don't know what that has to do with, but, uh... It must be some, one of the new additions. I think it's time for us to bin Spide Ops. Goodbye, Spide Ops. Before Scarlet and Violet came out, what is one mod you really wanted in it for me? It was Greninja. Uh, I definitely wanted my two favorites in, which are Emvor and Galvantula, and they both got released in the second DLC, so uh, problem solved. I mean, it wouldn't be a Pokemon game if Galvantula wasn't in it, because Galvantula is one of the strongest ones. Also, I don't want Slam. Let's grab the Super Potion for Kadabra. Uh, I see no reason to switch our main, but let's switch Pidgeotto out into Golbat. So we can just Rock Smash and Poison Fang, one of them, to get rid of him faster. Okay, the Poison Fang got the Toxic. That's going to be really helpful. Let's avoid... The poison will kill eventually, so let's supersonic this thing just so it doesn't deal the double damage payback. And then we need draining kiss to KO here and poison fang on here. That takes down Oink alone. Ever wants to learn recover? That sounds pretty good, actually. Uh, let's forget Ally Switch because that just doesn't work. Oh, Poison Fang's going crazy. Mud slapped our Steel type and lowered our accuracy, so we're gonna need to change out at some point. Maybe now. Maybe now is a good time to change out, actually. Let's send out Lanoon and. Poison Fang. That way we can get rid of the accuracy drop for the next two fights. Hmm. I think I'm gonna re-roll this again. And let's get 
being a little risky. Let's go for the lore. Increase our chance of getting a double battle. And let's switch out our sleeping Lanoon to Tinkatoff. Rock Smash is super effective. Oh, and simple. We finally get the Rock Smash defense drop, so this is gonna really hurt. We might be close to running out of Rock Smashes, actually. I feel like we've used a lot of them. Feather Dance is better than Sand Attack, at least in my opinion. you to lock item rarities when re-rolling items. Let's take that. I don't know how that works, but I mean, we re-rolled for it. And it's a rogue level roll there, so it sounds like it's pretty good. Uh, we kind of need to swap out Tinkatuff, but I don't know what we can swap Tinkatuff out to. I guess, I guess Kadabra needs to come out and Golbat needs to go kind of crazy here. Uh, we can reflect to reduce the damage that we take and let's go for Poison Fang into one of them. Oh, Acrobatics because it doesn't have an item. Okay, it's only partially implemented though, so it probably didn't deal the double damage there. Uh, the lag is already not great. This might only be like an hour long. The lag is starting to catch up to me already. Is there... How can I lower... It says I have no drop frames, but my encoder is overloaded. I might need to lower the quality, but I don't actually know how to do that. Um... Bit rate is that what I should lower? It keeps getting overloaded. I don't know why. I'm gonna try turning down this video bit rate. And seeing what happens. Ah, uh, let's go for one I can recover on another Pokemon. One thing I don't get about Pokemon is how if the Rattata resists Psychic. And you two use the most powerful psychic move. Rattata's like, no, you can't use that on me. Well, it's all about tight matchups. So the Rattata got smart enough to know that it would get beaten up. Oh, I was really hoping that would kill. Okay, so we lose Golbat. Um, Speed Rose, but the Fletchender died to Toxic, which is good. We might need to catch this Fletchender just so we have enough Mons going into the next fight. So we're gonna have to replace Minior. Uh, I think Pidgeotto is the next best. Let's recover and quick attack a little bit. Okay, there's the Flame Body that I really did not want to see. Uh, let's go for Psybeam and then... Feather... No, oh, I'm still getting lag. I'm gonna have to look into, because I don't get this when I do Switch streams, I only get it when I do computer streams. Uh, 
Oh, I wanted to, I wanted to use Feather Dance so I could catch this. Oh, that's... Well, that's gonna screw me over. Uh... Oh, I want to take down. Take down Snow. And we lose Pajoto. Alright. Lock Rarities? How does this work? Oh, it increases the price. Oh, I get it. It makes it so that these are, like, both Great Ball tier guaranteed on the next roll. I get it. I need to use the revive. The revive will put one of our Pokemon back in the fight, and I think that's gonna have to be Pidgeotto. Okay, we have one boss Greedent. Let's start with Pidgeotto. Probably faster and can get off a of Feather Dance. Let's hope this thing doesn't have anything to go crazy against us. Oh, the Reflect, the reflect definitely helped there. We're still faster even though we're paralyzed, so Pidgeotto has done good work. And now we can send in Tinkata... Tinkatop. I almost said Tinkaton. We can now start Rock Smashing, and that does not as much damage as I was hope. Uh, every time this thing uses Covey, it threatens stealing something from me. <sighs> also, the paralysis is going crazy. Oh, but I can also steal stuff from it. What does it have? A Lumberry and some other kind of berry? off more damage than this. Oh, and it stole my Shell Bell! But I need to catch this now. I mean, it would be a good Pokemon to add to the team. Okay, that's pretty perfect range to catch it. We just gotta hope that it catches. That Our only out right now is catching the Greedon, I think. I'm gonna risk it in favor of everything on the team dying. Oh, we only have one Pokeball left. Well, I think that's the- Oh, he used rest! And woke up instantly? Yeah, that's- that's probably the game. Ah, uh, it's so annoying. And the game is lagging. I did still do so much damage after I feather danced it twice. Okay, okay Linda woke up. How is it still doing so much damage after being Feather Danced twice? Uh, let's go for Psybeam. How? How does it do so much? That's ridiculous. It is Feather Danced twice, which means it's at minus four attack. That is simply insane. Let's run it back. Alright, well this time I just want to kill everything. I don't think the gold bat really ended up helping us. Oh, all my eggs are hatching now that I've completed 10 stages. We got a Ghastly with their smog. Oh, we got a lot of candy for that. Oh, it's encoded. I don't know what this error is. It only gives it to me when I do computer games, though. And it's the worst. I'm gonna try and change something again. What is, like, the minimum bitrate that I can use on YouTube? Let me look that up on my phone for a sec. I don't think I can change the encoder right now to anything else. What is YouTube's minimum bitrate? Six. 
So for 1080p, it's 12 megabytes. Wait, what? I'm only at like 2 megabytes right now. Am I doing the math? A kilobyte to a megabyte. So then how does... Hold on, let me see some more rows. Seven twenty P at thirty frames per second is what this is so strange. This is like what is the video resolution in? Oh, it's in four eighty P. Why is it so low? Is it all my stuff like this? Oh, now it's at 720. I'm so confused. I'm going to have to look into this later. I guess I'm good. I'm just going to lower this for now and not think about it for a while. Encoder preset speed. I need to like get good at OBS. That's what I'm realizing. All right, let's just see if we can hatch some of the eggs. Oh, was that Tidio? Oh, that goes crazy. Uh, Toxic is there. Little Choodle and Mega Horn. This is disappointing. Dazzling Gleam, okay. We got Ice Ball, that's interesting. Wait, hold on. I just checked. We're still live, right? I'm pretty sure we are. What just happened? I'm a professional, don't worry, I'll figure it out. This is- oh wait, no, I'm on the youngest now. Okay, I think we're still alive. Something weird just happened that I'll look into later. <laughs> Yo, Combi just got King Shield? King Shield Vespa Queen? I didn't catch what Uber learned. I didn't it zoom by it too quickly. But we got Wish, which is not functional. Now we have Trash Bomb, which learns Trash Move, figures. We got Quiver Dance, that's pretty good. Alright, what did you learn? Nothing, I didn't get to see it. Rare egg move unlocked. Mighty cleave? 
That goes crazy. Uh, body press is not right. Scale shot, I guess, is kind of interesting there. Oh, second love disc. Got heart spot, not implemented, which is good because I wouldn't use it anyways. Oh, Cyndaquil. I'm gonna try closing some extra tabs. Maybe that'll help. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try closing those tabs. I didn't see what Cynical's like move was. Maybe I'll catch it on the live stream. Nope, it just was not there. Recycle, not implemented. Get the oh, I was thinking Electro Web. I wish I said that out loud. I think Electro Web is probably one of the best ones we can get there. Freezing Glare is interesting. Planet it has Sludge Wave. Who has Mystical Fire? Would not have expected that one. Your eyes? Okay. Uh, we got acid spray. Uh, not expecting much here. I mean, I guess it's your turn. Dazzling Gleam. I think Warpool's coming back again with Sticky Web. Benikin. Didn't get to see. I hit the button one time. Shiny next three eggs. These aren't shiny boosted, but it, I mean, it could be possible. It is a normally increased chance. Hey, look at that. It's Fermi Trash. Got body press. That's actually pretty good. I think that I think Fermi Trash links iron defense. Or is that sand cloak form? I can never remember the different Wormadam forms. But now it starting to learn body press. That's pretty good. Also, we're out of the eggs. Hey, look, it's my junior. Calm mind. Google feed. Fireflies. Come on, what you gonna be? Esper wing. That's really, that's really good. Don't I have both like freezing glare and Esper wing now on uh, Noctowl? It means that Noctowl might actually go kind of crazy. 
Did not get to learn anything about Venipede. <clears throat> Actually, maybe when I click them and they don't give me a move, they're just not learning a move. Because these are specifically for the legendary eggs. Oh, hello, Shadow Wolfman. How you doing? Hi, Boss Drogon. How you doing? Pink Cloak is trash? Gotcha. I know the green one is at least Plant Cloak. It seems weird to make the pink one trash, though. Like, it looks so pretty. Ah, it's Skidoo. What is Skidoo going to do? As Grassy Glide, which is only partially implemented. Then none that. Wind Beam? That's an interesting one. Break a lot of sashes with that. Got Freeze Dry? Oh, Carcel is learning Spiky Shield. That's a good one. I wonder if I get that on both forms. Because Spiky Shield, Ghost, Corsola would especially go hard. Pampor. What's Pampor doing? It's also getting free stride. All the water types are getting free stride today. Hey, look at that. It's the rat that learned to be immune to Mewtwo. And he's learning stuffed cheeks, which does which does not work. What game is this? This is a game called Pokey Rogue. It is a browser game that is free to play. Anybody can play it as long as you have a phone or a computer. And if you type Pokey Rogue into your browser, it should come up. Uh, it's also linked in the description of the live stream and the three videos that I've made on it already. But the basic gist is that it is a roguelike experience uh, that has you go through different waves of Pokemon battles. Uh, and one of the mechanics is hatching eggs, which, uh, because I completed 10 battles, like, all of my basic eggs are hatching right now. At least we're getting some stat increases on Poplio. With a luring voice. Which is partially implemented. Got acrobatics. That's alright. Belief, well, you got Stealth Rock, which is actually pretty good. I love disc. Welcome back to the pool. Didn't even learn anything. Alright, cool. Love disc. Hey, it's Fido! I haven't had to think about Fido in a while. And it got Wish, which does not work. The rat that learned to beat Mewtwo. Yeah, it became a dark type specifically for that one purpose. Like, throughout the first six generations, it got tired of losing to Mewtwo, then it became a dark type. And achieved its goal. That's the, that's the lore at this point. Of course, Mewtwo can learn fighting type moves and has an entire mega evolution, you know, that is a fighting type, but I don't want to ruin the rat's dreams. Oh, Stone Axe? That's, that's really good for Hippowd on. That goes crazy. Uh, oh, Thunderous Kick on, like, Megalopony? That one's, <laughs> that one's crazy, too. Uh, Unknown, <laughs> Unknown gets moves outside of uh, Hidden Power now. Now it learns Cosmic Power. I wonder if an Unknown run is viable. If you just get enough unknowns. <laughs> Alright, Baneri's coming back into the fray, and Baneri... Uh, oh, we got max attack on this one too, and max HP, that's pretty good. Uh, and we got Swords Dance? Yo, Mega Lop- I was gonna do Mega Pinsir for our next run, but we might have to do Baneri so that we can get a Mega Lopany. Because our Mega Lopany moveset is currently, like, cracked. Uh, Mystical Power on- On Spoobat? That's pretty good, too. Especially if you get Simple, that means you get a plus two attack every time you use Mystical Power. Because that's the move that they gave to the Lake Guardians. 
Uh, and Stomping Tantrum is alright. I mean, I guess you are a ground type, so you can use that move, like, pretty good. Rita hatch from the egg, and just getting play rough. Which is not crazy, but not terrible. Good tight coverage. Pharisee, what you got for me? Eh, I could take or leave drill run. I don't really think we need tight coverage on Pharisee, but we'll do what we can. A curse is there on Rock and Rolla. Voltorb, what you got? You, your IVs are terrible. You didn't get any increases at all, friend. Uh, but you did learn Volt Switch, at least. Come on, Egg, what are we looking at? Cast Storm is hatched from the Egg, and didn't learn anything, I don't think. LGN got cosmic power. That's kinda eh. <clears throat> Thunderous kick on a low pony would be so OP. Yeah, some of some of these egg moves are like okay, but then you get a rare one, and it's like, how on the earth did they not think that this is gonna be absolutely crazy? Like there's a reason that the legendaries have legendary moves, because they're legendaries. But then you give Paris like uh what's Paris gonna get? Paris? Paris, you there? Paris, I need you to prove a point. Please have something cracked. Paris? Dire. See, Dire Claw. That's, like, pretty good for Paris to learn. In the Paris sect. Uh, we got a Nuzzle on Quillfish. I actually like that a lot. Cutie Fly, we talked about Cutie Fly earlier getting Grass Whistle. Benepede is learning Noxious Torque? Oh, I read the Torque moves in here. I wonder what learns Wicked Torque. There's like a, there's one of the Torques from Scarlet and Violet is the, the moves that the Team Star vehicles learn, and one of them has a 30% chance to put you to sleep if it hits you. And getting that one specifically on a Pokemon with, like, Serene Grace, the game is just over at that point. Like, what do you need after that? Uh, speaking of Serene Grace Pokemon, actually, Togepi, what are you learning? Okay, Mystical Fire. Uh, Book Bug is getting Recover. Okay. But it'd be funny if the secret ability of Unknown is to have Unown? Like U N O W N in your party and spell to boost all the stats higher than Mewtwo. That would be a crazy combo if you got five unknowns to spell out unknown, and then you get like an om like several Omni boost. It'd almost be worth it. All right, we're out of starters. Let's take the Ultra Ball because we struggled to catch Pokemon a lot last time. Oh, but we didn't get the Shell Bell this time around. I guess we did just keep losing it, though. Let's take the Ultra Ball. Alright, this time around, we're going to switch... Yeah, we're gonna switch out into... What? Oh, okay. We're gonna switch Minior out? Oh, whoops. I wanted to switch Tinka Tink out for Minior. Not the other way around, but I guess this is fine. Uh, Pokemon on the left is going to absolutely hurt me. Actually, let's get rid of the Pidgeotto this time. Pidgeotto wasn't very useful. That's going to hurt, like, a lot. But we're going to get some health back.
Okay, we got a lot of health back, but we didn't get enough to survive another flame shard, so I'm gonna send Spide Ops in to die, and then we're gonna roll out into the Pidgeotto, and hopefully that kills. Oh, Spide Ops looked great. Good job, Spide Ops. Uh, I'm not gonna line Speed Kiss this time around, because I didn't end up using it before. Uh, let's go for the Faint, and let's go for the Tackle, and let's try and catch this. Forgive. You're gonna have to forgive the lag. I'm not sure why it's lagging so much. It might just be my computer. But I'm gonna look into fixing it after this. Probably tomorrow, actually, because later today I want to get the. I want to start doing the if you beat me in a Pokemon League. Really? You were gonna bother going in an Ultra Ball? You're a real. You're a real. You're a mean one, Mr. Fletchender. Um, I could revive this spot up. Let's just use the potion for- nah, actually, nah. I'm gonna reroll, see if we get anything crazy. Okay, the super potion is better. Let's use the super potion for Tinka Tink. So I think the move that I should go for is getting rid of Pikachu right away. Because Pikachu did that before, and that hurts a lot. Also it paralyzed me from static. Okay, now Shield's down is active, but I don't think we're faster. I don't think Draining Kiss does enough to KO the Pikachu though. So I'm gonna double the slot. Okay, it was faster, but I decided not to kill my ER. Should I grab this with my Yenna? My Eeyore wants to learn to go boom, and that's a no. No, thank you, my Eeyore. What's happening? There we go. I'm gonna Drain Kiss, and then... I guess a Quick Attack, and let's see how much that does. Okay, let's... Should I pick up the Mayena? You know, let's pick up the Mayena. That's good type coverage, at least. Uh, let's grab the Lore. Try and get a double battle. Okay, the Lanoon does have Covet, we've learned this. And the last time it coveted me, it stole my Shell Bell, but I don't have a Shell Bell, so I'm not that afraid of this thing this time. That was a crit, that didn't do very much. I'm gonna, okay, well it stole my Lepa Berry this time, but I don't think I'm gonna need the Lepa Berry. And did it eat it immediately? It ate it immediately because of its Ability. Okay, this time around we beat up the Lanoon instead, instead of catching it. Sounds fine to me, because Lanoon didn't really do much last time. Uh, Tanga Tanga wants to learn Brutal Swing. We did that last time and it helped us with catching Kadabra, so let's do that this time. Now Tinka Tink is evolving. Balls in the Also learn acrobatics? I mean, you don't have any items, so I guess this is better than Ember. What is that Ultra Ball rarity? 
Oh, it's Brave Bird. I think we had that before. Um, I'm not that interested in teaching anybody Brave Bird, though. Like, after a while, we're gonna deal so much with Recoil that it's not really worth it. So let's use the Super Potion on our Ace here. Now I gotta fight these two Chuckles again. This would be a great time to have a Steel-type move. Uh, this time we're a fire type though, so we take less damage. We also have flame charge. Take less damage from fairy type moves. I'll uh, do what we just did, except I'm gonna deal damage from the fairy because now we're faster. Dranicus should pick up KO and Jigglypuff pretty safely there. I think there's one other thing that I can try. I'm gonna try pausing my own live stream in the background. That might help things a bit. We'll see. Uh, let's try and kiss here, and then flame charge here. Then I can try coveting something. I guess quick attacking, hoping that doesn't pick up KO. Yeah. Okay, we didn't cover anything off the of fairy, but worth a shot. Also, I think pausing my live stream in the background immediately made things so much better. I think that was what was causing the problem. Uh, let's re-roll. I mean, I can't turn down the ultra balls. The ultra balls sound pretty good. Let's do what we did before. This didn't kill before, and it didn't kill this time. This time we have Ultra Balls. I don't remember if it took us more than one ball to catch Kid Arbor last time, but... Ah, uh, now it's lagging again. Oh, but it was shorter-ish, kind of. I think it was a Fonsal Line Slam. No, thank you. Super Potion up, I guess, Fletchner? Nah, Super Potion, that's what we did last time, Super Potion Cadabra. No, I do not want to switch, and yes, I do want to switch. What's my Yenna looking like? Okay, you Quick Feet, not Intimidate. Um, you Bite, you Howl. Howl actually might be really useful here, if it's implemented. Uh, let's send out my Yenna. What we can do is we can Yeah, we're still getting the lag. We can rock smash the oink alone. And let's howl. Increase both of our tech stats. Tell a second time because I think we can take whatever it throws at us. Oh, the zombie voice is gonna hurt. Oh, it stinks. Um, and now we have plus two Tinker Tough on the field, which with a defense drop should KO that this turn. So let's go for a flame charge into Young Goose. Everyone wants to learn recover, which is better than Ally Switch, which doesn't work. They dropped me again, I just remembered. Uh, it's fine, I'll take care of it. We might just have to go with the accuracy drop now that we're plus two. That reroll was not great, but I'll take the lure. <laughs>
I think I'm gonna try and catch this. I'm gonna try and catch this. Yeah. Simple is good. I like simple a lot. Uh, let's drop Spide Ops. Actually, no, I can't drop Spide Ops because Spide Ops has. Wait, no, Mighty Ore has Silk Scarves. We'll give the Silk Scarves to. Uh, the Barrel. Now that we have normal stab. So the Barrel might be able to get us out of this mess that we found ourselves in. Let's transfer some items around now. Is it Silk Scarves to Beebrel? Oh, I gave both of them to Beebrel. Alright, fair enough. Uh, who else are we looking at with stuff? Alright, all of our stuff is correct now. Um, I think I need to reroll for healing on Tinkaton. Tink Tinkatop. He's not a lot, but it's better than nothing. Alright, this one. I mean, we have to switch out here. At least this time we have a water type. Water gun, one of them. Quick attack. This stinks. I think we lose here. Aw, oh, these flail. They're, are, they're, they're wild AI feels like it's perfect, because they didn't go for a single fire type move there. Which is rather annoying. My first ever shiny was a Shinx in Scarlet and Violet. That's a good one. Gotta love the yellow coloration. Psycho cut and draining kiss, I guess. I knew it was gonna play by burn me. I just knew it was going to <laughs> We're we're dead at this point. Like there's nothing that can really get us out of this. Alright, we healed off the burn. I'm gonna reflect. No, it's gonna be faster than me, so it's gonna kill Kadabra. I think the only hope I have right now is throwing an ultra ball. It got out. Was it KOing? Tinkatuff lived, I think. Just go in the ultra- You're level- <sighs> That- I guarantee you that works if I do it in Scarlet and Violet. Catching a level 30 in an ultra ball after already damaging it a bit. I'm gonna reflect even though we're slow. Yeah, we're dead again. Wow, this is really being a hard one for some reason. This daily run is really running me through the, through the ranks here. Alright, well, we'll try it again. The lag is coming. I'm getting so mad. Oh, I stole its star fairy. Give me the ultra balls. Uh, yes, I want to switch this into mining ore. Let's try this combination this time. Let's try and kill the Fletchender. Just work up in here a little bit, all right? Maybe the game's just too fast. Should I lower that? Uh, I don't care about sweet kiss. 
Um, game settings. Let me try lowering the speed. Just to double speed. I think that changed it right, yeah. If Pidgeotto lives, I'll catch the Pidgeotto. Alright, I'm gonna try catching it. I mean, if it gets out of this, I'm gonna actually throw a temper tantrum. like experience or something. Well, these items are really that good. Uh, let's hyper potion up Pidgeotto. I oh, I didn't want to switch Minior. That way Minior doesn't take the spark. Let's defeat the Pikachu. See, it sparks the specific slot every time. So it's not random. The AI just chooses to be mean. You want my arm? Maybe you should learn self-destruct. Alright, you know what? You wanna go boom so bad? Fine, you can go boom sometime. Try and catch the Maya again, I think. I'm going for Howl, but Struggle Bug should bring it down to, yeah, enough where I can catch it. Option like Fire Fang on my Yenna? What does that help me with? Nothing, it helps me with nothing. Let's take the money. Die. My ear's gonna go down anyways. I might as well go down doing something useful. Just making sure this Lanoon doesn't cover any of our stuff. Also, slowing down the game hasn't helped yet. Oh, Leech Life is good. I can only learn it on the Mon that I plan to replace at some point, though, but it is good. Let's see, he's a super potion on my Yana. Okay, all things considered, we're pretty good right now. Let's do the old bomb combo. Bug is resisted by both of these, but it'll lower both of their special attacks, so theoretically we take less damage.
Well, I guess if I'm going for faint, it doesn't matter where I target. But yeah, faint. I didn't, wasn't sure if faint was going to pick up KO on the Jigglypuff. Brutal swing again, so we can do that thing later, and that's also where we evolve. Perhaps you want to learn counter? Well, you've gotten this far, and block is kind of useless, so you might as well learn counter. You know what, actually, I might keep you around just so you can counter the greed and... How many Dragon Kisses do we have left, actually? Seven? Yeah, that's, that's a good enough number. It's only showing me the Jigglypuff items still. So I don't know if Clefairy has any, but I might as well. Like, I'm not gonna get much health, so I might as well save. Oh, he has Moonlight. Did I have Moonlight all these previous times and just not care? Clefairy, please, stop being you for just a sec and die. I got a crit. Now you're dead. Um, these are not great, so I'm gonna re-roll them. Uh, I guess I'll take five Ultra Balls, because I don't want to re-roll it again. Let's do the thing. That did, like, less than it did all previous times, right? Am I a lower level than I was before? Well, I hope not. Maybe I should be trying to catch that at a higher eight base HP. Potion of Debra. And I do not want to swap either of these Pokemon because they're both probably going to die. Well, not both, just Spide Out. Spide Out will probably die. Um, go for the Rock Smashes and I guess Bug Bite. But he's resistant, but still hurts a lot. And then I'll bug by into the young goose when the game allows me to. Citrus Berry got popped, but now I can bring in my Yenna. We can do... Owl. So Uncle is gonna die this turn. Usually this is the turn where Young Goose lowers our accuracy. Yenna wants to learn insurance. I guess my Yenna hasn't gotten this high level before. Let's forget Roar! Insurance and Double Bow is actually pretty good. And once again, we will forget Ally Switch, which is a move that is useless for the third time today. 
Vitality gets some attack buffs. Yeah, Mud Slash gets some accuracy drops. Rock Smash here, and then Assurance. And we risk the Rock Smash. But the Assurance picks are KO because we're plus one on Might Yana, which is good. Um, I don't really want any of these, but we're about to get trash items to replace them. Nah, the lure's useful. Alright, Singular B Barrel has reappeared. I'm not going to switch out Tinker Tough just because I think we can capture this with the Booster Rock Smashes. And we lowered its HP less this time, so we can use the Ultra Ball and have a higher health Mon. Speed Rose Sharply, we don't really care about that. Uh, this caught before, right? Yeah, okay. And we're going to bin Spider Ops, I think. Actually, no, it's been... Uh, but Mighty Orbs is the one... Yeah, we came up with the same problem last time. Let's bin Spider Ops. Counter would be great, but I don't know if we're going to get a revive. And, okay, now all my next rarity eggs are hatching. Well, look at that stump fist. Stump fist gets added out of starter, and it's got a... This is good nature. Got spikes. Go cryogonal, what you got, cryogonal? You're surfing, alright. Dutini, this one's gonna be really good. And it is scale shot, that's kinda meh. The duo gets high jump kick, which is good for it. Alright, what does real have for us? Didn't get any better IVs, but it got triple axle, which is partially implemented. It's farfetch. Farfetch is roost. Got another stun fist. And you're learning super cell slam. That Alright. <laughs> Actually that was on a different Pokemon other than Stun Fist, but alright. Anno with Lich Generator, Mega Evolution, Good Nature is getting boom burst. That's I'll take it. I'll take boom burst. Shiny Meow! Look at that! Uh, there's Learning Parting Shot. That's pretty good. Actually, Persian's pretty busted in this game, so I'll take anything that we can get on Persian. And the fact that we have a Shiny now, I think I'll definitely use that in the next run. Next main run, that is. Come on, Phoebus. What you got? What do you got for me? Nothing. All right, thank you, Phoebus. Very cool. Eight Maractus got spiky shield. Chat dot. Chat dot is learning. Boom burst. That's a rare one now. Shiny out Good job. Thank you, GG plays. That's like a sp oh, we're out of eggs. But our last one went Shadow Snake. Shiny Meowth is such a good one to get, because Persian is like one of the best Pokemon in this game. Because you can get technician like boost for fake outs and stuff. Alright, I think this time I can afford to switch out Tinkatov. Oh, we have B Barrel. 
Oh, and B-Barrel is simple, so if we howl with my Yenna, we can get a plus two B-Barrel, like, right away. We don't really have anything to use it with, and I'm pro probably gonna proc the Flame Body if I do anything. That's annoying. I really don't want to proc Flame Body, even though I know I'm gonna proc it. Insurance is currently partially implemented, so it's not actually dealing the double damage, but... I'll take the KOs where I can take them. Especially if they don't proc Flame Body. I did not want to see my Yenna get burned. Proc. Okay, it didn't proc this time. Uh, let's water gun and howl. Oh, we can get a B radical plus one for the next thing. Even though the green might be faster than us. Uh, Pidgeotto having feather dance is actually. Wait, no, we're gonna swap in the Pidgeotto anyways to feather dance. Even though I don't think feather dance is minus two right now, like it might be only minus one per use of the move. Because that greed it still had so much attack, even though it was supposed to be a minus two. Alright, the attack sharply boosted, and my Yana gets an attack boost, but that's not important. Oh, we can revive. Do we revive Minior just for one explosion? I think we do. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going to transfer Money or Silk Scarfs to B-Barrel. And then let's revive Money or. Just so we can do damage with B-Barrel while B-Barrel's at plus two. Then we can have Money or explode. And then after that, we'll figure it out. But we're at least going to get past the green this time. Place mine ER. Alright, green, please be faster and headbutt. Yes. That does so much! How is that. How is that doing so much? We can't explosion yet because we need to get past that first health, first health bar. I'm gonna drop one feather dance and then go for quick attack. Attack. Okay, special defense bros, and that was a crit. But now what we can do is we can have Minior go in, and it should live, and we're gonna have Minior self-destruct. Oh wait, I should buy some more eggs. That way I can get some of the actual shiny boosted eggs and then like in 10 ways we can hatch those. That did pitiful damage, Mining Or What are you even doing? Special attack increased. Uh, Kadabra, you come in here and you kill this thing. It went for rest again. I'm gonna throw up the reflect. That is with a reflect and a minus two attack drop. You cannot tell me with a straight face that that is correct. It parried me. We're dead. We're dead again. My reflector's gonna wear off, but it, it's killed me again. This green sucks. It's impossible. There's no way anybody gets past this green. Its attack is just simply too high. For, a, for actual Pokemon.
That is a resisted hit at minus, minus two. That's just not possible. Hold on. Let me look at Feather Dance. Feather Dance has to be bugged. Partially lowers its attack stat. If it's doing that, then that's just not possible. There's no shot that this screen is doing this much resisted damage to me. I'm gonna mercy throw a ball. Alright, the run has been saved. I am going to bin Mine Yard. Mine Yard is too low level. We only have Flash Cannon? We don't have a Steel type move. I guess I'll replace Brock Smash. Even though this thing isn't a special attacker, it's a physical one. See guys, daily runs are easy. I only nearly just lost and won on a basic win. We're about to fight two C-Dots, aren't we? They really want me to get good experience by fighting two C-Dots? Are you really- are you trying to hit me with that right now? At least I'll have Pokemon have been healed. Uh, no I don't want to switch you out, but yes I want to switch you out into our flying type. Now die. Oh right, I need to buy more eggs before I beat this wave. That way if we get to wave 20 we beat that, I can hatch 10 more eggs of the uncommon, or the common variety there. You have Giga Drain? Why? Why do you know that? Alright, I'm gonna get some more eggs. Egg gotcha. Uh, so it changed to Zekrom increased chance? Do I want Zekrom? Or no, I want the shiny up ones. That's what we're here for. Uh, I have... Oh, I only have 125 pull? Voucher? I had more vouchers. I swear I didn't use up all my vouchers last time. I think the vouchers got messed up. Uh, I'm gonna claim this one though. I didn't see what eggs we got, but I don't care. We got 25 more eggs. Let's hit him with the old draining kiss gust combo. I guess I could have tried to covet their citrus berries. Oh well. Oh, XPL is very good. No, I do not want to switch out of my mons that are super effective against these mons. I'm gonna just count on Flash Cannon KOing. I should not have counted on it. All right, why am why is Pidgeotto getting all this hate? Pidgeotto didn't do squat. I switch out to take some hits here. This green is apparently super bulky. Uh, let's go for the flash cannon to finish, finish Whimsicott, and then... I don't think I want either of these, so I'm just gonna kill... Well, actually, Whimsicott might be useful. It is a fairy type. But we do have a fairy type in Ticketuff. Never mind. I was talking without thinking. Okay. Oh, we have Stockpile, which is not implemented. Marvelous. 
Okay, Whimsicott gets off the dying helping hand, but what did Skiplin go for? You don't want Slurm's scary face? Nah. Oh, that was quite the helping hand at acrobatics, huh? Oh, we got an upgrade for Max Elixir. Don't really need a Max Elixir. I don't need any of these. Oh? Oh, just five Ultra Balls. Man, I want some good stuff. Last time we got Shell Bell so early on. Can I... Hold on. I also want to see about... Wait, no, I already transferred all the items. What am I thinking of? Just give me the Ultra Balls. Best plan is exerting pressure. I would like to switch out to a Pokemon that can be fast defense. Hey Johto, it's your time to shine. That does nothing. That does legitimately nothing. And how does... How? How does that hurt so much? How? I'm gonna green deal with it. If this paralyzes, I'm gonna catch the... Oh, you have to be kidding me. You have to be kidding me! Well, now I have to catch this Vespa Quinn. It's, it's gonna kill Green Nippet. Alright, well, thanks. Very cool game. Yes, it, 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 an Ultra Ball would definitely fail to catch a level 31 Vespa Quinn in a wild. That, this is just not possible. It's just not possible! Just die. I don't care anymore. You can't hurt me. Just die. Alright. Uh, Pidgeo, you're getting binned. Debra's learning... Saisha? Alright, we'll take that. Better than Side B. And we'll learn Crunch over Tackle. This one, who just got here, is now learning Power Gem. We'll take that over Sweet Scent. Oh, a Master Ball? Oh, it's just a Master Ball. I mean, I gotta take the Master Ball. It's pretty good. Um, we just saw that the Vespaquin that we just fought didn't have Bug-type moves. So I'm going to count on the fact that there's no Bug-type moves on this Vespaquin here. Do I have anything that they could steal? That one has a Ganlon Berry. And I have no idea, I don't remember what a Ganlon Berry does, but it is kind of neat. I get Brutal Swing and damage my partner. <laughs> Um, let's drain, let's just kill the Vespaquin, because I'm still not sure about it. Or at least, like, attempt to. Oh, uh, Tail Whip. Yeah, that was a good turn for us. Let's repeat that. Mm 
Adrian's fine, it wasn't a physical attack. Now let's just hope that the jump hook doesn't go for a physical attack since it lowered our defenses. Should be, we should be able to handle this thing just fine. We're gonna need to switch Tinkatuff out. Um, I'm gonna try and steal the Ganlon Berry with Covet, and then recover with Kadabra. I hope that the, the play doesn't- oh, okay, no, 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 no. Covet, and then recover. Ah, I did the Ganlon Berry. Raises the defense. That's fine, just perish. Ah, oh, physical move. Alright, let's go. Uh, I'm gonna learn this over. Uh, Drain Kiss is useful because it heals us, but we're a physical attacker. So I don't know. I guess I'm gonna bin draining kiss. Uh oh, wild charge? Who looks wild charge? Just green who is dead. Okay, well, never mind. Potion up, uh, Vespaquin. Get it slightly more in the fight. Now we battle against Cordelia. It starts with Capsicid. Slops into Hone Edge. Ah, uh, we have something to hit the Hone Edge, so let's do that. What is this even? Slash? Slash. Shiny alert, try to guess the shiny I found in three guesses. Do I, can I get hints? My first guess is that, is it, does it have one of the types of a starter? So is it a grass, water, or fire type? Back in Capsa Kid. And goodbye, Capsa Kid. A lot of levels off of that Capsa Kid. Uh, now we have Ice Skew. So we can avoid the Ice Face by using Flash Cannon and killing it instantly. I don't know if Ice Face was implemented correctly, but. We get the kill, and Tinker Tough is evolving! And is getting a Gigaton Hammer. Alright, since we just killed the Ice Q, I think I'm gonna drop Flash Cannon. Because <laughs> I don't. Other than the killing that one Ice Q, I don't think there's any reason for us to have Gigaton Hammer over. or for us to have Flash Cannon over Gigaton Hammer. And also, Kadabra's learning Psychic. Which is excellent. It is not Grass, Fire, or Water. Okay. Is it a ground steel or rock type? Um, I think I'm gonna forget Psycho Cut. And you do not need take down. You can learn Toxic right now? Okay, I'll take that over Fury Swipes. Oh, that was a crit flash cannon too. And in comes Swirlix for the worst Gigaton Hammer of its life. Goodbye, Swirlix. Ooh, Tinkaton's learning Fake Out. That's so good. Uh, I think I'm going to replace that over Covet. Because we can use Fake Out at the start of every other fight. Guesses, questions, by the way? Alright. I get three questions, so I've used two of them so far.
Uh, let's heal up Vesper Coin again, I guess. Hope that we can get out, get over our next trial with whatever health we have left on Tinkaton. Oh, we can start the battle with Fake Out, and then we can click Gigaton Hammer, and we can just rotate those two. That's such a busted combo. Now we're cooking. Uh, Taunt is not implemented, so we're not learning that. Let's use the Super Potion for Tinkaton. I actually will switch Pokemon here, because I know I just mentioned Fake Out uh, Hammer is such a strong combo, but I don't want to waste the PP, and this thing is Pressure. Uh, we don't have a lot for getting rid of this, though. I guess I'll send in B-Barrel to try and beat it. It is Ground Rock or Steel. Okay. So it's probably a Ground Rock type if you can't remember the other type. Um, my last question is, is it a Pokemon from Gen 4 or earlier? I get a headbutt punch. We take those. Shadow Ball? Who's get to, who gets Shadow Ball? Getting it on Kadabra would be really good. Let's teach, let's teach Kadabra Shadow Ball. Over... Reflect is, feels like it's pretty circumstantial. I'm gonna forget Reflect. Even though we have two Psychic type moves, I think it makes the most sense to forget Reflect. No, okay, so that means it's from Gen 5 and above. Now that's my guess. Well, if it's from Gen 5 and above, and it's a shiny Pokemon, and I can figure out that you were shiny hunting in Scarlet and Violet. I'm going to throw the dart at the wall, and the dart is going to land on the Pokemon Golet. I think it was a shiny Golet. A second Vespaquin. Give me the flinch. Give me another one. I give you another hint, it's in Gen 6, 7, or 8. Alright, well, it wasn't Golet then. Um. Was it. Hmm. What's a rock type from Gen 6, 7, or 8 that would be in the Terrarium? Oh, is it Minior? Did you find a shiny Minior? Uh, Super Fang is better than... It's really not, though. It's really not better than Yawn. Then again, Super Fang is really use... Ah, oh, it's both... You know what? I'm gonna forget Water Gun. If we learn a better Water-type move, then sure. But Water Gun right now is just kind of pointless, because we're a physical attacker. Super Fang is really good for boss fights, though, because it always gets down... It always gets you down at least one bar. Uh, now Vespaquin is getting all the Vespaquin moves. Which I'm not really sure if I want, because our moveset right now is pretty good. But I do want... Vespaquin did not learn attack order, but in a, just a sec, if I remember how Vespaquin works, works correctly. Vespaquin should get... It's not in the terrarium? Oh, okay, that messes me up a lot. Um... A rock or ground type from Gen 6, 7, or 8 that's not in the terrarium. Then... I'll teach this Defend Order instead of Toxic. There's another Vespaquin! 
gonna have to have to take a ton to deal with this one. We'll have at least one more Gigaton Hammer for after this. Hmm. Linking. Oh, we can evolve, uh, we can evolve Captain Abra. Gen 6, 7, or 8 rock, steel type, not, or er, rock or ground type found in the terrain, not found in the terrain. I think if I get one more hint at this point, then I'm gonna get it. Is it Sandy Gast? It'd be Sandy Gast. So Jim Leader Eric would like to battle. It can't evolve into split, but also is a split evo. So it doesn't evolve, but it is part of a split evolution. Who's a split evolution? From Gen 6, 7, or 8. is tanky. I mean, I guess my attack stage is very high, but like, come on, man. Just die. This is the tech drop. It's not that it was easy, man. Do a Vespa Quinn in the back. Vespa Quinn's gonna be very good here. It's what you refer to... It's what you... It's what you refer to split into. No, it does evolve. So it does evolve and it evolves into split evolutions. It has multiple evolutions. This KO, please. to learn something that's kind of useless, so we're not going to change it to it. Okay, in comes Bioplume. I'm pretty content with just sacking the barrel here to get an Alakazam for free. The only split evolution that I can think of from Gen 8 is, like, uh, Applin. That doesn't meet the typing requirement. Oh, is it a a rocker rough? A rocker rough is technically not a. Well, I guess it, a rocker rough would fit the requirement because it is a rock type and it kind of has split evolutions. Like, not really, but it evolves into different forms. I think it's probably a rock rough. Me personally, I would not call it split emos, but you might. Nah, I don't I don't call rock rough split evolutions. Because it because all the forms are still named like in rock, then they're not like a split evolution. Like Executor evolves into like Executor and uh, Alolan Executor, but that's not a split evolution. And like, I guess uh, Ursa Ring now evolves into Ursa Luna and Ursa Luna Blood Moon, but that's not a split evolution either. Like, it's not a split evolution unless they have like different names. Now, Exam is gonna go dummy here.
trash. Now my 10 eggs are hatching. Let's go. You got work up. He has been added as a starter and Hit me with the Makahira, what you got? Got Mat Block, which is not it doesn't do anything. Shelmet! Resolves into Excelgore, who could be good. It's a lot of moves. Uh, Leech Life is not one of the moves that I would teach Excelgore, but... Who knows? Bronzor got Cosmic Power. That's pretty good for Bronzor. Everybody loves Fanfy. What's Fanfy learning? Happy? Happy, you doing okay? Alright, I don't think Fanfy learned anything. Carvana. Now this whatever we get goes into Mega Sharpedo. And it's skill shot, which is pretty alright. I mean Sharpedo wants to be fast, so once that's fully implemented it'll be pretty interesting. Uh we get Tea time on Stuffle, which is not implemented, but is also not good, so. Nope. Tea time Stuffle, huh? Now, who are we looking at? Timber. Timber with sheer force. Good nature. Adamant's really good. Uh, gets bullet punch. Alright. We'll take bullet punch. Ooh, whatever this is goes into Mega Manetric. It's nothing. Alright, well. Proof that you should never get your hopes up in life. Ooh, it's Galarian Slowpoke. Who now has Poison Tail. I mean, it does evolve into two Poison types, so... That's not too crazy. Man, I remember back in the day when uh, Sword and Shield was still coming out, that people were really speculating that uh, Galarian Slowking was going to be a psychic ghost type. But no, they just made them both poison. Which was kind of disappointing. I'm um, being honest. Triple Axel. That's a neat one. Chilling water, that's scald, but like not scald. Barboach has Dragon Dance. That's like the main reason that you would use Wish Cash right there. Pichu! Ooh, you got, uh... I think this is... That's one of the Let's Go moves, but I don't know what that one does. I think that's the one that Pikachu learns for Fly? I don't know what that does, though, but that's pretty good. Assumedly. Uh, ooh, Flower Trick. Or just isn't really a physical attacker, but Flower Trick can go crazy on anything. Alright, this is another Pokemon that has a Mega. 
Last time we were a little disappointed when we hatched on Electric, but this time around is going to be different, because this time around, we are learning. Tamper Flare, that's pretty good. I will take the physical type coverage. Even though is Mega Man a trick? I think it's I think it's physical. Ooh, that's a really good one. Golurk with Rage Fist? An Iron Fist? Oh that one that one's busted. That was that one's busted. That might be the most busted one I've seen all day. Drill run. And Foo is getting Ice Spinner. That's good type coverage. My prediction for some Pokemon added to Pokemon ZA is back in the day, Fighting and Rock Eevees. It would be interesting if they gave Eevee some more evolutions. Or maybe one to match Sylveon, like a dragon one. But Fighting could work too. Just, it's Fighting is physical. Uh, alright, that's trash. Kadabra's like, when are we getting back to fights? I want to fight. I'm fully evolved, man. If I have to predict something right now for Legend ZA, I think 100% we're getting Mega Dragonite and Mega Crocodile. Those are my two that I think 100% we're getting. No doubt in my mind. That's, that's kind of trash. Come on, Phantom. You can do better than that. Ed Zigzagoon, Ed Zigzagoon is stomping a tantrum. Uh, you know, I feel like I usually underrate more lol, even though it's kind of like a moon kiss, but worse. Uh, more lol, what are you learning? What, what's your what's your deal? More lol. Or will you read me? Pollen Puff, okay. And that's the end of that battle. I got another egg voucher, so I'm gonna pop that. The look up has increased to 52, and we are now in a bad spot. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll take a ton to deal with this. So I'm going to use that egg voucher that we just got for one egg full. We got one common. Alright, that'll hatch in ten waves and we'll be a little bit surprised. They do need to finish Eevee though. I feel like Eevee is finished at this point. Like, adding any more Eevee illusions after all this time would just kind of be overdoing it in my opinion like I don't think Eevee needs all of the types because originally Eevee only had all of the special types except for dragon dragon was special but all the other types were physical so if, if you don't know about the gen 3 type split uh, pretty much what happened going from gen 3 to gen 4 is that every move was either physical or special. Like, all fire-type moves were special, even, like, fire punch. Uh, all dragon-type moves were special, like, even dragon claw. So all of the evolutions have all of the types that were previously special, except for dragon so far. And when they added fairy, that kind of felt like the last special type that they wanted to give to the evolutions. So I don't think they're gonna add any, like, bug, fighting, or rock evolutions because those are all physical. Types. Mega Flygon? I'm gonna hold out for Mega Flygon. I would like Mega Flygon to increase Flygon's coolness, but I'm gonna hold out on that one. They might do that for like 
like a Gen 3, um, like a Gen 3 Legends game. I'm gonna hold out for that one. Do I play rough this and kill it, or do I add this to my team? I already have a dark type in my Iana. But low kicks learn so many good moves, though. Let's play rough and see what happens. Alright, I think I'll add it to the team. Okay, it's Swarm. It's not Tinted Lens, but I'll take it anyways. It'll increase my IVs of the low kicks that I already have in case I want to use whatever this thing's pre-evolution was. Shiny alert. Alright, next one is probably going to be a shiny. Even though I don't think there can be shinies in this. It might only be in the main runs. Did you just catch low kicks? Like, could you stop being the worst in the world? Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, let's release... Who was dead for... Uh, let's release Greedon. Greedon's level 33. Greedon's gotta go. <laughs> Higginton wants to learn Flutter. No, thank you. Fire type Kanto over number 100 in the Pokedex. You mean Moltres? Or do you mean Flareon? Or Magmar? Uh, it's only gonna get more costly. Ugh, I wish I rerolled last time. It's only gonna get more costly to reroll, so I'm gonna reroll now for something to heal. Let's heal up Tinkaton. Alright, here's that double battle that we've been waiting on. We do need to. S Actually, no. No, we don't need to switch Tink out. We can fake out this, and then. I'm going to headbutt it. Actually, I'll headbutt the weaker one. The neat arena. No, I have a shiny Flareon. Ah, gotcha. Oh, I got poison pointed. That stinks. We might catch a ground... It's not super likely this thing actually knows a ground type move. I'm just gonna risk it for the biscuit here. That does so much. That's crazy. Loki just wants to learn Sucker Punch, which is... Has that been properly in implemented yet? Yeah, it's been pro it doesn't have the letter next to it anymore, but it's better than agility. Hey bro, wants to learn Swords Dan. We'll very much take that over Super Fang, I think. And you can learn Yawn? What moves do you have? Yeah, forget Swagger. You don't need Swagger. You do not need Destiny Bond, even if it was properly implemented, so... Thanks, Vespapin. Let's full restore up a barrel, just to be nice. Get rid of that poison. Pick out. And go for the play rough. Oh, 
What's Max Potion? Uh, Blue Kicks. Oh, wait, Loki is gonna be in the fight. And I think I just want to play Refuse. You're so weak. Oh, uh, you have Mudslap. Please don't miss. Don't miss. Don't miss. Don't miss. Don't miss. Don't miss. Uh, now it's faster than me and it's just gonna do it again. Do I hope that this thing doesn't have a flying type move and switch out the Vespa coin to his power gem? Alright, we're swapping it. We're swapping out of the Vespa coin. I don't care. It's gonna go for a flying type move now. Ah, get, get, get wrecked. You're faster than me, so you can still do whatever you want this turn, but like, just die. Oh, uh, Furious Woods. Very convenient for you to change right to it, and I switch into Vespa, but huh? Yeah, die. Uncle Sam wants to learn Future Say. No, thank you. I will not be re relearning Psycho Cut. Let's roll this. We got PP up. Oh, this is better. For, we can give this to Tinkaton and Gigaton Hammer. Then we have one extra Gigaton Hammer every time. Alright, these guys have low level Pokemon, but they have a lot of Pokemon. And we're starting out with not a great starting combo, honestly. Or this is time for me to get Vespaquin set up. I could use Defense Order a bunch on these Pokemon that can't really hurt me. Let's Defend Order and Sword Stance to turn one. Okay, so b will KO everything that it hits now. Let's start hitting things. Actually, I wish b was the one in the front. b would be able to sweep through everything that comes after this, probably. Uh, let's power jam here and headbutt here. Goodbye. Power Gen KOs, because we're like 10 levels higher, and it's super fair. I feel bad for this Togepi. Not so much the Unknown. The Unknown deserves it. The Unknown knows what it did. To learn this actually let's just wait no I, never mind I was gonna learn it over covet but now I have a dog named Evie because when I got here she looked like an Evie fair enough it's a good name then oh, I'll stop trying to learn scare smack unlike my diabolical self these are some good Pokemon Who's like psychic fangs? Oh, my Anna is. We're not gonna learn that, but it's a little interesting. Why the potion? Uh, nope. I have no interest in switching because this should have died. Air slash.
Luffy's wants to learn first impression. Has that been properly implemented? I think so. Um, let's forget Bug Bite, though. It's very of lunch. Rare candy? Rare candy for who? I guess low kicks? How much experience are you on low kicks? Oh, you did just learn a move, so you probably could use a rare candy here. Get the most use out of it. We're actually halfway through a level right now, so I don't think I'm gonna teach it to low kicks or give break candy to low kicks. We have enough money for a reroll, let's do a reroll. And we get like noticeably worse stuff. I guess I'll just take the potion and take the L. Ah, uh, we cannot afford to, or can we? We do have power gem. Okay, well, now we're trapped. How much damage does power gem do? Oh, we might want to catch this. We live this. I know we live it. It just hasn't happened yet. Alright, Fire Spin is going to suck every turn we don't catch this, but let's throw the Ultra Ball. I'm going to save the Master Ball. Because I knew we were going to catch it in the Ultra Ball. Let's go. Um, who do we bin, though? We can't bin b Burl, Alakazam, or Tinkaton, obviously. Or Vespaquin, or Low Kicks. Oh, maybe we've been Low Kicks. I, uh... Oh, we had my Yenna for so long, though. It might be time for us to let go of my Yenna. Oh, but it's full health, and it's like a howl and stuff. Really trading in my Yenna just so I can get a fire type. <sighs> yeah, it's move pool really isn't that impressive. Let's let's get we have to say goodbye to my Yenna now. Ooh, we could use another PP up for a Gigaton Hammer. Thankfully, this isn't something that we can roost against. That was my main reason for keeping in Vespaquin. Is now we can roost off the damage that we took from fighting the Nine Tails. Now that we have the Nine Tails. And this thing will just die to Air Slash. Struggle Bug is a little annoying here, but it doesn't damage us, so we might just have to use more Air Slashes. Air Slash if it goes for Struggle Book again, which it does. Do we want to? No, we're not catching this. We're not catching this. We have no reason to catch a Cricket Team right now. GG, my Yenna. Yeah, my Yenna was a fighter. Let's be honest, but unfortunately, we just got better, bigger and better things. I'm not going to learn Amnesia. Maybe against my better judgment, but I think Yawn will be more useful. Even though we get plus four, Spadev. Uh... Actually, you know what? I take that back. Oh, wait. <laughs> I was going to teach it over Yawn, but I messed up the menu. It's fine. My gut instinct was not to learn it, so we're not going to learn it. Uh, oh, we can get Super Lore. Let's do the super lore. Uh, I wish I could switch this out for a barrel, because then we could have a barrel get set up, but it's fine. Let's have Tinkaton on the field instead of a barrel. Oh, wait, Vesuquin's special attack is so far down from that last fight. Uh, I should have swapped out Vesuquin. Instead, 
Not JJ Rip. <laughs> same difference, same difference. Oh, I think I did so much. Okay, I'm gonna swap out Ninetales, because we might get a revive. Even if Ninetales dies for whatever reason, we might get a revive. And that will heal up Ninetales more than like a potion or a super potion will. We're gonna use one of our very valuable Gigaton Hammers that we have seven of right now. Or maybe five of. Same that we've used a couple of them at least. Oh, X, X is around who actually? Low Kicks? No, Low Kicks doesn't need that. I'd say we just ball out with the Super Lures. That way we can get more double battles and get more experience. Now we are fighting Brassius. We're starting with Meow Skirata. Do we have anything that's a good matchup for this? Other than Ninetales? Ninetales might just die. Even though Ninetales is like our most useful member right here, we don't... I don't really have anything else for Ninetales to do other than maybe die here. Okay, yeah. Tink is a little low, but Tink is our best an- Oh wait, no, Lokix is our best answer. Oh, Lokix can solo this. Uh, first impression. Okay, now we need to work around the balloon. Let's hope it doesn't have anything that can really damage Vespaquin. Okay, Dynamic Punch missed, even though we would have quad resisted that, so we're fine. Uh, let's go for Roost. Okay, in comes Vile Plume. Get her a little bit of our health back. Expecting it goes for a poison type move. Let's go into Tinkaton. Okay, we catch a fairy type move, not stab. Let's go for the fake out. Get some chip off. Let's go for a Gigaton Hammer. Get a lot more chip off. Grassy Terrain goes up. Which is both good and bad for us. Because, like, we restore health every turn, but the power of the grass type moves is going to go up. And I'm going to get a little bit more health every turn. Brutal Swing, please, KO. Frick. Oh, it moonlighted. Uh, we can get to Hammer this turn now, anyways. Now we've Brutal Swinged. Three Kikits and Hammers left. I'd say the Grassy Terrain has actually helped us there. Because now Tinkaton is up a bunch more health. You all are calm mind, but that's pretty good. I'd say we have you learn that over Psy Shock. Because then you don't need two psychic type moves. But this wants to learn Bounce. No, thank you. Our Beliva comes in. Why? That did not do as much as I was hoping it would. Alright, I believe I can catch the gates on hammer. I think that was the sound of it dying. Yeah, there we go. I think it does not max level and wants to learn knockoff, which is only partially implemented. It does more damage than Brutal Swing though, and we don't hit ourselves if we're in a double battle, so I'm gonna learn it over Brutal Swing. Alright, Grass has disappeared from the battlefield, but we got pretty good use out of it. Uh, let's just play our left. Oh, we miss. Oh, but they miss, because they're bad. And we land because we're the better player, let's go. Alright, Tinkaton's set up to solo now. 
Now it's just the Miascarada. And once this animation finishes, you are d -d 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 dead. And I will take my voucher for another egg. Oh, and that egg! Every time we beat a gym leader, we get another egg, and we hatch an egg. It's a Squawk ability. What does the Squawk ability have? Nothing. The Squawk ability didn't learn anything. Level cap has been increased to 62. Do I want to switch out on Ursa Ring? I don't think so. Uh, Alright, let's buy another egg. Put the egg gotcha. Trying to open the menu, but it's taking a sec. There it is. Egg gotcha. Give me a shiny. Oops. Give me wait, what what voucher did I just get? I got oh I got one of the five full ones. Alright. Alright, five commons. That's what I like to see. Alright, to beat this Ursa Ring, I'm just gonna start out with our most deadly combo. Just fake out. That might have been neat to have when we could get Ursa Luna, but I'm not too worried about it right now. I'm pretty content with all the Pokemon that we have. Ooh, what's our Rogue Ball? A Dynamax Band? <gasps> we can use Dynamax? That good. I mean, we gotta take that. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. Oh, we're gonna Dynamax sooner, or, or sooner or later. Um, we do have a dark type, however, our dark type is also weak to the flying type moves, so I'm not gonna use our dark type here. I think I'm just gonna have Tinkaton take this thing out. With Fake Out, and then... Knock Off. He just wants to learn Axe Kick. Do we value type coverage here? Depending on what we're sucker punching, now that it's properly implemented, we might want to have Assurance. First impression is also important. Also confuse the target if it misses the damage. I'm not gonna risk it. I'm not gonna risk it. Gotta keep our Pokemon moves set the same. We can also get Mega. Do we have a Mega? I don't think we have any Megas right now. Hold on. Let me. It's B Barrel Tigaton. Hold on. I can go over to the transfer and I can double check the Pokemon. I don't think we have any Megas. But man, that would be kind of cracked right now if we could get a Mega. We have Vespaquin. Um, okay, we don't have any. Oh, wait, we have Alakazam! Oh, we can get Mega Alakazam. I'm totally gonna take that. Oh, hi, Ursula. Speak of the devil. I kind of want this. This. <laughs> We're replaced, though. Such good mons. I don't know who I ever replaced for this, and there's no guarantee that it has a good moveset either. I need to switch out in case it has ground type moves. I 
think Best Buy Point could deal with the normal type ones. You can kind of deal with the normal type ones. Oh, you snore. But let's get Best Buy Point a little set up for the next couple battles. Plus three in Spadef and defense. So as long as I didn't crit, we're good. Catch this, it would be so good to have. I don't have anybody that would replace over this Pokemon. It's Ninetales, Low Kicks, Alakazam, Tickaton, Vesquin, they're like all good type coverage. Or at least stat boosting, and Vivarel's good stat boosting. And this thing has kind of terrible moves, anyways. Yeah, I'm not gonna catch this. Uh, I'm gonna roost after it hits me, though. I'm deciding not to catch Sarna with Ursula as much as it's going to kill me. Oh, it's fast now. Don't crit? Okay, our epic eggs are hatching from the very first batch. Now, reminder that these have an increased chance to be Kyogre, I believe. We do get Meltan, who has Bullet Punch. I wonder how we evolve it in this game. Oh, was that our only epic egg? Oh, man, that means I didn't get a Kyogre. I don't really want a Kyogre. This is like a pretty notable amount of money. I'm gonna take the money. Okay, the Karbik is a rock type, but hear me out. I have a way around it. We have a way around this Karbik that helps everybody. So we're not gonna switch Vesequin. And we're not gonna switch Tinkerson. We can Air Slash the Hariyama, and we can fake out the Karbik, because the Karbik can have Sturdy. So we're gonna break the Sturdy. Carbink's gonna flinch. That... Oh, it went into the wrong slot. Okay. That might have done, like, half to take a ton if that went into the take a ton slot, but we, like, super resist that. Uh, let's go over Air Slash and Gigaton Hammer. And Gigaton Hammer should pick up KO into the Carbink. If I can hit the Carbink. Any moment now. There we go. So push comes push comes to shove. We might have to heal Tinkaton a little bit here. Nope, it has the Vespa coin again. All right, finally some dumb AI. Bless up. Bless up for the dumb AI. Ooh. Uh. Oh, well, all of our mons are alive right now, so rare, the rarer candy sounds good enough for me. I spent 20 years trying to find myself, but where am I? Did 
I know where I am. Laggy Computerville. Oh, they only have one mod. Not really, probably. Oh, wait, what? Are we doing a double battle, but they only have one Pokemon? This feels a little inherently unfair. Just gonna put that one out there. Uh, yeah, Tinkerton go for Fake Out. Alright, Krikaton can't move. Uh, we go for Air Slash, and now we go for Defend Order for the next few turns, and we go for Play Rough, and we miss the Play Rough, so Krikaton has a pretty good chance to KO us. Okay, we're gonna run that one back, uh, except this time we have a defense boost, and I can roost, and I can play rough, and we take the play rough, and we miss the play rough again. Uh, this time Thrash comes out in the best Quinn, but we're gonna heal up. And for the third time today, we're going to try and land the play rough into the crocodile. This time we successfully do that, and you know what? I think the crocodile actually helped us, because now we have a defense boost on best Quinn, and uh, our heal up a little bit more. So thank you, crocodile, for being so good at dodging. Wow, that was enough experience to bring us up a whole level just from beating that one crocodile with two Pokemon. That was a crit. I don't think the crit mattered, but it was a crit. Wait a second! Hey! Oh, okay, some of my... I don't even remember what batch of eggs this is from, but it's... Alright, I guess. Get lunch! Um, increases the holder's base speed by 10%. Do I want this? Yeah, why not? We'll increase Alakazam's speed, I think. No, nah, Alakazam's already pretty fast. Maybe Ninetales' the speed. Or maybe just, maybe just give it to Tinkaton. Or Vespaquin. Everybody can use speed. Everybody needs speed. Give it to take a ton. I see no reason to change Pokemon, as we can just air slash this one and it will die. Well, something evolved. What is it? What do I need to get an Alakazam? Do I need a rogue level? Retaliate is there, but it's not currently implemented. Let's revolt. For kind of worse stuff. I guess I'll just take the money and chuck up losing the money. Ooh, it lived. Don't draw my defense. Thank you. We are cooking now that we're out of the smaller leagues. Just saying, like, we are cooking right now. The girl wants to learn Curse. This is kind of better than Sword Stance, but I'm not gonna learn it over Sword Stance because I don't want to be super slow. Like, I'd rather Bavero gets up one sword stance, and then takes the hit, and then sweeps everything. Rather than trying to be defense tanky. Um, uh, raises crit if hit ratio if HP is below 25%. Let's roll it again. I'm feeling lucky. I'm a gambler. Alright. I think this time around we will be lucky enough to get... Uh, one of the special items. Oh, Rogue Ball. Bye, Rogue Balls. Only had the thing where I could lock it in and re-roll it. I don't really need Rogue Balls, though. Like, I have a team at this point. I guess I'll just take the potion. Ah, uh, Gigalith is something that we need to swap out on. They are not putting best in harm's way. Uh, I think this can have sturdy. Pretty sure it can. So we're gonna fake it out. 
Hi, Null Harmony. How you doing? Quick question. Lilligant or Whimsicott? I think I'm more of a Lilligant person. Uh, Lilligant and... Like, like... Uh, Whimsicott's really good because, like, prankster, but I tend to like Lilligant more because of the uh, speed it gets in the sun. And there's also two Lilligants, but there's only one Whimsicott. Also, the version of Black and White that I played through didn't have Whimsicott in it. I played through Pokemon White. Um, ooh, who learns Little Wisp? Just Nine Tails. I I'll take it on Nine Tails. It's better than in person. That just doesn't work. Uh, let's fake this out. And then throw a Gigaton Hammer. Any moment now, we're gonna get out of this lag spike. There we go. Okay, so I wonder who's gonna be at the end of the cave here. It might be Cliff. Oh, I the grip claw! Upon attacking, there's a 10% chance the foe's held out and will be stolen. I mean, I gotta take this. But I was really hoping that was gonna be Alakazam. I... Oh, well. 10% chance to steal an opponent opponent's item every fake out I'll take that okay we're battling our Roxanne you can learn many things by battling many trainers Roxanne has a team of four which is good because I think I only have like four good ton of hammers left Ooh, I cannot get to hammer this super easily I can't figure it out and maybe steal one of its items Nope, okay. Who's good into this? I guess nobody really. Let's just have... I want to save my games on hammers for the super effective hits, though. Let's go for play rough. See how much that does. Bunch of pump. Doesn't do too much. Can I steal one of them items, please? Hydro Pump Miss! Let's go, skill diff. Alright, we didn't get to steal any items there. Uh, this is Ultra also neutral to Gigaton Hammer. Huh. I think I have to keep Gigaton in here anyways, though. Let's see if Gigaton Hammer knock off Gigaton Hammer will kill it. didn't go for it that time. Okay. Any steals? Any steals? Nope. Oh, no, this is something that I wish I could hit. Um, wish Blue Barrel had a water type move right about now. Am I fine with Tinkaton going down here? I can always bring it back in and fake out later. 
10 gigaton hammer, the last gigaton hammer. I think I'm gonna save. Ninetales isn't doing anything here. Neither is low kicks. I'm gonna send out low kicks. Hopefully catch a ground type move. Ah, self-destruct, that's better. That's a good catch. I don't know why you would use that into a steel type, but thanks. Uh, and last but not least, you have a Flamora. Okay, we can beat this pretty easily. Um, first impression? Just get a little bit of damage off. Oh, Swarm. And now we send out Tinkaton, and we fake it out. Maybe steal one of its items. We Gigaton hammer it with the last Gigaton hammer, and we maybe steal one of its items. Now all those common eggs that we got from before are hatching. And it's Spiel. Spiel what you got for me. Spiel. Spiel, you good? Ah, uh, Spiel has been added and it gets freeze dried. That's a sensical one for a water ice type to get. Not with all the other water types that were just bottled water getting it before. Igly buff, you learn nothing. Thanks. <laughs> Foo hatched from the egg and what is mine foo got? Nothing. It's also possible that I've hatched a certain Pokemon so many times that I've already unlocked all of its moves. I feel like Mindfruit might be one of those. Hey look, it's Twin Needle. <laughs> or maybe we've unlocked like all of the normal moves, but we haven't, uh, it just didn't roll the rare one. So like, I'm not expecting a lot out of you, but could you learn like, Geomancy, I guess? It's, uh, okay, thanks a lot, Spoink. Got another egg voucher. Might as well redeem it. It's a trio, and the level cap is increased, and we have Tinkaton on the field. So I would like to switch out to a Pokemon that can beat things. Um, I think this is a good spot for B Barrel to get set up and then sweep through five things. Or four things, actually. Also, need to buy more eggs. Uh, menu, egg gotcha, shiny up. Oh, we only got one of the normal ones. Eh, that stinks. So it's just random which egg voucher you get, I guess. Common. Or maybe, I don't think I've ever fought Brassies before. Maybe it gives you, I might have fought Rexan, and I know I've fought uh, Erica before. Maybe it gives you a five pull one the first time you beat a gym leader and then you just get a normal one every time after you beat that specific gym leader again. It's possible. Very possible. Got a stretch there. Getting all locked up. Oh, let's make it so that we can kill everything. It did throat chop us, so we can't yawn. I don't think. Unless a I didn't spot if that was partially implemented or not. The effect might not actually be there, but, uh, we'll see. No, I didn't want to- Oh, uh, that's annoying. Let's skip through all the menus. Well, he's now guaranteed kill whatever I hit. 
Please give me a good healing item here. I should have given the speed to B Barrel. I don't remember what I gave it to, but B Barrel was very deserving of it. Reroll. Give me a good healing item. Come on, we're on the last 10 waves. I kinda wanna beat this in the next 20 minutes. Oh yeah, yeah, fight. What, what, what is this? It's a super potion. I'll take the super potion. Okay, we've got to be faster than a worm down. I'm gonna re-roll this because it's all kind of trash. has potentially like a golden punch grants 50% of damage inflicted as money oh that's so busted oh I'm totally teaching I'm totally giving this a fever all I will not switch out and I guess I will switch out into nine tails I don't know if former down has any ground type moves even though it is a ground type but it's also a bug type so like beaver all could just kill this and then Ninetales can hopefully land the Will-O-Wisp to maybe reduce the damage that B-Barrel takes. Because then we get more money that way. Let's headbutt one of them. And then Will-O-Wisp, the other one. Okay, one of them protected. It was the one that protected. Fair enough. So I'll disable protect just in case for some reason that doesn't KO. Oh, getting the golden punch during like an actual run. That's such a good item. And it's only Ultra Ball tier too. It means you get like probably like an extra K every. Uh, every time you go around. I will not switch out because this KOs. Can I get a healing item for my mans? Oh, another golden punch? Or we could get a max. The max lore isn't as enticing. It would have been enticing like 10 waves ago, but... I don't think we're really worrying about experience right now. Another golden punch. I think we'd be overdoing it a bit, if I'm being honest. I'm gonna take the nugget, so that way we have another chance to reroll at some point in the future. You seem quite confident. Thank you, we're doing pretty good. This just not might ruin my entire life. Hold on. Please don't have rock type moves. Just not, please don't. Okay, that's kind of... All right, that's kind of something that you could do to ruin my entire life by being paralyzed me. Uh, it's probably gonna switch. This is something that I don't like. Menu, please, 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 menu, please, 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 don't ruin me. Defend order. Ah, that's Hisuian Typhlosion. I can power gem this, and we probably live whatever it throws at us. Oh, it's just Ember. Oh, we would not have thrown. We would not have lived flamethrower. Just putting that one out there, and it misses Inferno. Brilliant, and we don't get paralyzed. Okay, that was a little risky unnecessarily, but also like if Vespergen died, we could just revive it later, and it wouldn't have the paralysis. And I have enough money that we could re-roll it enough so we could get a revive. Now it's coming in. Vero. 
I don't trust a Fero. I don't trust a Fero at all. This might have drill run. Drill pack. Uh, you don't have an item, but I'm gonna hit you with fake out anyways. This fake out's like pretty much free damage, no matter how you look at it right now. I can click it. There we go. comes in. Oh, I'm, I'm stupid. I'm so dumb. I'm dumb to dumb dumb dumb. I just wasted a gigaton hammer there for no reason. No reason. Oh, I forgot we still have that master ball. I got a master ball or something in the next four encounters. Because you can't master ball the legendary. I already discovered that. That's at the end of this. Wish you could, though. I could get a legendary. Can I get your whatever berry? <gasps> I did! I got the Landsat berry! Epic. Tingaton, you have missed like 25% of play rust today. And now you're paralyzed. Good golly gosh. We have a Lumberry though, so at least we're gonna heal that off. Alright, so what is the Pokemon they didn't want to send out against Tinkaton if just not was their answer? Is this a Lolan Nine Tails? It is a Lola Tails, that's why they didn't send it out. This is just asking for a Gigaton Hammer, but then I only have three Gigaton Hammers. I think it's worth the trade. Let's do it. Just kill it. It's not worth, like, maybe getting frozen on another Mon. Yeah, a lot of money for winning there. Uh, let's use it for a reroll. That was worse. That was definitely worse. I think I take the money and I just caught my losses. I will switch Pokemon. Uh, I think Bebarrel is like the best thing I have to deal with this. I want to get Bebarrel set up so I can get more money, but I'm not sure if it's worth the trade off of maybe taking more damage on Bebarrel. Also, if this thing like shell smashes, I'm going to be in a really bad spot. I'm going to take the risk. Don't shell smash, don't smash, don't smash. Oh, Rock Wrecker. Okay. Well, that's not great. I think I'm gonna have Tink use another one of its Gigaton Hammers to kill this. Oh, wait, that's sturdy, isn't it? Uh, be faster? Thank you. I forgot Crystal can have sturdy, so I should have faked it out. Well, actually, faking it out doesn't make a lot of sense, because it still needs the recharge turn. So it's, what, oh, max revive. Yes, 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 yes. I, I gotta use Gigaton Hammer here, as we saw. Uh, that time, the fake out actually didn't matter. Took unnecessary damage there.
Um, not any... Actually, I'll take the super potion. Oh, everybody's, like, fully healed now, except for Tinkaton and Vesper Funny. Hmm. In that case, let's take a reroll chance. The reroll was worse. Definitely worse. I guess I'll take the Enigma Berry. Oh wait, no, I can max Ether uh, Gigaton Hammer. That might be more worthwhile. Gigaton Hammer. Now I'm gonna figure it out, and then... Gigaton Hammer it. Oh, that was a crit. But Crystal Shell Armor blocked it. After this, I get one more chance to roll a Mega Stone. I get, I get the level 40 wave roll, and I get one more reroll after that. And right now, the Citrus Berry looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Let's give that to Tinkaton. Go for the Fake Out. Maybe steal what it has. Go for the Knock. I did steal its Landsat Berry. Brine is gonna hurt a little bit, but we got our Citrus Berry off. We didn't get any Max Mushrooms or Mega Stones, man. What the heck? Alright, let's roll our last reroll. At this point, I think the best thing to get would be, like, a full restore for Vespaquin, but I'm not gonna hold out for that. Alright, I guess I'll take this potion and heal up Tinkaton 20 HP, or 22 HP. Who are we fighting? Oh, it's Crowdon! <sighs> Alright, I won't switch. We're gonna fake out. We have to get the most use out of Tinkaton here. Now, one thing, it's making itself slow. That's good. Um, also, every time we hit it, we have a chance to steal one of its items. Alright, hammer I'm missing there would have been neat, but. What are you gonna do? It's making itself slow. That's good. Uh, I'm gonna go into Nine Tails and I'm gonna burn it now that it's super slow. If we get the burn off, we are in a super good position. It really depends what moves that the Groudon has, I think. Nine Tails, I really need you to land this Willow though. Oh, wait, does it have a Lumberry? It doesn't have a Lumberry. Yes? Some kind of golden egg thing. I don't think it has a lumberry though. There's the willow. Doesn't seem to have a way to heal it. So we take those. It's gonna get burned every turn. We activate fire spin. That'll help deal residual. Speed fell. Why'd speed fall? Oh, because it keeps using hammer arm, right? Oh, the residual is going crazy. Let's disable. Disabled hammer arm. Can't hit us with hammer arm anymore. Try to go for hammer arm, but it can't. Oh, Nine Tails is putting in so much work. I'm so glad I grabbed Nine Tails. We pretty much got it all the way down now. It went for Fisher, <laughs> but we're higher level, so it couldn't hurt us. And that's just the game. Oh, I didn't use the Master Ball. I forgot about that. I should have Master Balled that Starmie that we faced. Oh, well. But, uh, yeah, we're clocking in just under three hours. That's our daily run. It could have gone faster if we were using faster speed. And also, I didn't have as much lag. 
and I didn't screw up so much at the start, but we did it. And now we're getting an egg. What is our egg for defeating Groudon? Thanks a lot. Oh, we got Defend Order, though. That goes, that goes kind of crazy, actually. Uh, we got one new voucher. I'm gonna... What was it? Oh, it's a purple one. We get 10 pulls. Uh, we got two rares. Uh, so where do we score? I, how many, What was our score at the end there? I can see it. I can try rewinding the stream, but... I mean, so many people have beaten this at some point, so like... Um, our final score was 8,322. No, it, it was 9,245. So currently, we are in. Hold on. Hold on, just a sec. Hold on. Hold on. Just a moment. Ah, oh, we're getting there. Nearly there. I might have broken it. Hold on. Nearly there. Nearly there. I forget the number that we're looking for, by the way. I think it's 9245. Hey, look, there's me in 917th place. Wow. Wow, remember when... I feel like this score, whenever I started playing, would get me, like, 14th place. Or, like, 20th place. Definitely top 20. But now, not so much. <laughs> now, now there's a lot of people playing this game, which is great. But that's gonna be it for today. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, maybe consider leaving a like on the live stream. Uh, that's that's how I do daily runs at least if you found it interesting or not uh, The next thing of Poke Rogue will probably be episode 4, but I'm probably gonna try and get some uh, Actually, I'm gonna record episode 4 right after this. No, I won't actually. I'll probably record it tomorrow Probably tomorrow probably I want more I want more shiny eggs Especially now that we got that shiny Meowth super psyched about that. But I will see you in the next one Thank you very much.